So you're going to Cuba and you want to know what you got to take with you. It's a pretty simple thing. There's not really a lot of things that you definitely have to take to Cuba. These are some of my suggestions. Number one, mosquito repellent. This might seem like kind of an obvious one. You're going to a tropical and somewhat humid location. It might be a little bit difficult to find in Cuba. So if you're able to bring this with you on the plane, you're gonna want to use it when you are there. But it really depends on where you are going to go in Cuba. If you are going to go more into the country, like going to the swamp area, then you're definitely gonna want to bring some kind of mosquito repellent, especially if you are susceptible to those little mosquito bites because there are quite a lot of them in Cuba. This next one is based on my own personal experience. A lot of the places that I've been to in Cuba don't have access to card reading machines. I like to suggest to people to bring as much of their budget available in cash so that they can just use cash on the island. It's generally just a lot easier to use cash. People usually have change, so it's really not a problem. With the credit cards, I just, I wouldn't go there with limited funds in cash. I feel like you can go and try to use your credit card, but I don't want to suggest it because I don't want you to get stuck in Cuba without any money to spend. So that is something that I always tell people, just bring as much cash as possible and try to limit the credit card use. <music> Depending on when you go to Cuba, actually, you know what, for most of the year, it's pretty stinking hot in Cuba, so you should definitely bring some sunblock. It might be difficult to find sunblock depending on where you are going in Cuba. They have limited access to these kinds of things on certain parts of the island. Bringing sunblock is going to help you because when it gets extremely hot and there isn't a cloud in sight, <laughs> you might uh, suffer some sunburns. This is kind of an obvious one, but Cuba is one of the most photogenic places on the planet. If you can please bring a camera, then do so. You are gonna regret it if you don't. Cuba is one of the most beautiful places from the architecture. There are a lot of natural reserves and waterfalls and just beautiful, beautiful landscapes all the way to the people. I think that even if you aren't a photographer or you aren't really one to take cameras with you on your trips or when you go traveling, I really think that you should make Cuba an exception. Get yourself a cheap camera, whatever you can find because you're gonna want to keep these memories. This is a really important one. Guys, travelers, insurance. If something happens to you when you are in Cuba, they are not going to help you for free. It is really important to get some kind of coverage that will protect you while you are in Cuba. I am not personally gonna recommend any companies in this video just because I don't wanna align myself with any specific company. I do recommend that you go on Google and look up traveler's insurance that is applicable in Cuba. The last thing that we want is for you to get hurt and be in Cuba and not be able to pay for that. That is probably the worst thing that could ever happen to anyone traveling anywhere. <music> Lastly, again, <laughs> camera underwater camera. Cuba has this diverse marine life. If you are able to go snorkeling or even just going to the beach or going to some of the waterfalls, there's just so many options and bringing a camera that is waterproof and that you are able to take underwater, you are going to thank me for that. Because again, Cuba, beautiful, beautiful landscapes. Plus underwater cameras, they're super fun and it's all part of the experience, right? Am I right? By the way, I've got a lot of Cuba videos that are coming out in the next few days, so stay tuned. And for the month of December, I am making a video every single day, so definitely subscribe and follow so that you don't miss out on my face. Hit the like button, give me a thumbs up, share this with your friends and family. Whoever you know is going to Cuba and is gonna find this useful. If you've been to Cuba already, then let me know where you went and what was your favorite place. I like meeting the people who are watching my videos, so believe it or not, I read every single comment that I get. Every single one. Even if I don't respond to your comment, please trust that I've read it 
so be nice. <laughs> this is the face that you are commenting to. So uh, that is just a friendly reminder. When you're writing stuff online, there's usually another person on the other end reading it. But for now, I'm gonna go. So I will see you when I see you. Bye. This video was made possible by my patrons over at patreon.com slash redromina. If you like what I do, become a patron and be a part of the exploration.